Hey, it's Dr. Winbush with Sankofa Healing Arts and Functional Medicine, getting ready for the first full week in the office. And I wanna make a short series of videos about some questions that have been coming up, some things that I think are helpful for everybody to know, uh, and specifically uh, folks who may be approaching or going through the menopausal transition. So this is gonna be one of a few videos that I make but basically trying to, sh in a brief period of time, unpack some things that we often hear as it relates to hormones and going through the menopausal transition. So the first thing I wanna talk about is something you may have heard, which is how vitally important our adrenal health and well-being is um, as we are going through this menopausal transition. And I would actually say <laughs> adrenal health, balance, and well-being is important at every phase of life, but becomes even more so during this period of life. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why. And that's because one of the things that people think about when they think about menopause is that all of a sudden, all of your hormone levels, and specifically what we think of as our reproductive or sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone, that all of a sudden they fall, right? And they, I think the perception is they go to zero. And there's a couple things about that. Number one, it's usually, it's not generally unless there's surgery or something else medically going on, a sudden transition. It's a gradual transition and you actually can have in, uh, lots of fluctuations in hormone levels, especially estrogen levels leading up to the menopausal transition. Uh, and the other thing is the levels don't <laughs> go to zero. Our body still continues to produce some levels of estrogen and progesterone. And this is where adrenal health really comes in because it's really at this time of life about a passing of the baton. That some of the hormones that have in the majority been made by the ovaries, now they're gonna be made in the adrenals. And let me get a little bit more um, specific like that, uh, about that. So prior to menopause, the ovaries are the main source of estrogen and progesterone production and a major source of uh, some androgen production and the major androgen that we often think of as testosterone. But during menopause, this shifts to the adrenals and our adrenals especially are called upon um, to make androgens. Uh, DHEA is a major one. Another one is androstenedione, and there's no quiz on these names. And the important thing to know is that those androgens actually can be converted into estrogen. And so our body's wisdom and ability to say, okay, what is needed right now? Do we need to have some more estrogen to meet the menopausal needs? Our ability to do that and to kind of regulate that is based on our adrenal health. And we used to talk about adrenal fatigue. It's not really that the adrenals become fatigued, but they become dysregulated if we're dealing with chronic stress. So our ability to have a responsive adrenal system is part of the adrenals um, being able to meet this need. And when they're taxed by stressors, and we'll talk about what some of those uh, potentially hidden stressors are in some future videos, they could become dysregulated and it can make the menopausal transition uh, bumpier. Uh, and the last thing I would say is regardless of the decision that a person may choose to make about uh, maybe starting hormone replacement therapy, it's really foundational to address adrenal health as well as um, the, the assess some other hormones that we'll talk about in future videos because in the absence of that, your body's ability to make use of that hormone replacement therapy, to have it um, be processed in the ways that you need to be uh, can also be impaired. So if you have questions, uh, you can put them in the comments below. And I hope that made sense. If there's things about that that you want more information on, also let me know. Thanks.